Hi, I'm teacher Annie Johnson, and as we approach the end of the Lenten season, today we will be looking at chapters 9 and 10 in the Gospel of St. John. In these chapters, there are 83 verses, and we find the sixth of the seven sign miracle in the book. This is the giving of sight to a man who was born blind. We also find three of the seven I am statements. In John 9, 5, it says, I am the light of the world. In John 10 and 9, it says, I am the door. And in John 10, 11, and 14, it says, I am the good shepherd. When Jesus talked about being the light of the world, one of the things that he said was, and if we were in the light, we would not walk in darkness. Unfortunately, the Pharisees did not know this. The man who was born blind was given his sight when Jesus told spit on the ground, anointed his eyes, and then told him to go and wash. From that point on, the conversation that we have is with the Pharisees and the man who was born blind, the people in the temple, his parents, because they just did not want to believe that Jesus was who he said he was. The Pharisees have been fighting with Jesus since chapter 7. In chapter 7, they were fighting with him because they wanted the temple guard to go and arrest him, and they didn't do it. In chapter 8, they were fighting with Jesus himself, saying that he wasn't who he said he was. And now in chapter 9, he's fighting with the blind man. He's also fighting with the blind man's parents. And one of the things that the blind man says, these are supposed to be the teachers of the law, but he said, did you ever hear this happening any other time? In the and so they kicked him out of the temple. He went and found Jesus, and he became one of Jesus' disciples. In the 10th chapter, we find the fact that Jesus says that he was the good shepherd, and also he was the door. There's a lot in these portions of Scripture, but um, I would like to say how can we apply them to our lives. We can know that Jesus said in 9.4 that I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. We have a job to do, and we must do it. And when we're walking with him because he is the light, we will be able to do it without problems. Then he tells us he is the door, so we will know he will be able to open up any opportunity for us. He also tells us that we have the abundant life in John 10 and 10. So if we have an abundant life, we can do all of the things that he would have for us to do. And the final thing in John 10... 28 and 29, he tells us that we are in his hands. His hand is in the Father's hand. So as long as we know that Jesus has us, we can do whatever it is that he would have for us to do. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we come to you right now thanking you for your light, thanking you for being our shepherd, thanking you for giving us the abundant life, and thanking you, Father God, for the assurance that we have that we are yours and that nothing will happen to us that is outside of your will. We pray that you will continue to bless us throughout this day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.